lobbies. And we'll see whether or not, once again, Chicken Sandwich can top this lobby. Reminding you that when we played this lobby on day one of ALGS Apex, yeah, they, known as Valiant, did win the lobby. Moist came second, MDY White third, Boogie Borders fourth, and Truth Esports fifth. So that has changed up quite dramatically today. I mean, we've got Daewoo United, who were not inside the top five. We've got uh, Teamop, who were not inside the top five, and MDY as well inside the top five rather than MDY White. So uh, a, a lot of teams that maybe didn't perform on day one that are coming through here today on day three. Okay, so we're getting a very northern pull of the map here. Just having a look around the grounds to see if there's anything that's uh, catching my eye in terms of drop spots. Uh, we do have Emmanuel playing North Siphon and then Stinky B going over towards geyser so no one's picking up dome at the moment um and then we've got uh yeah okay exo over at staging yep no the rest of it i think is uh it looks looks pretty standard to be honest elfish so no super early fights as a result of that i think that's what we do like to see it's up in trials normally that's the uh the one thing you get to watch at the start of a, a world's edge game Going to be able to get out of that position. Do you have to be a little aware though? Good riddance, I can see on the minimap here. Are starting to rotate their way in, so I don't know if there's ever a world where Good Riddance sneaks up on Nutsuru Sama or Mosu. Or maybe catch a Saiyajin God rotating out. Uh, not to mention Homer Gerd as well. Up here in Skyhook, getting very close to, to truth, so. Could see this all coming to a head relatively shortly. Yeah, it's interesting. They don't actually don't have the info though. Um the, the beacon, good riddance have gone for that at the moment. Jaro um, is trying to hold down uh, with uh, with his sniper while the Valkyrie gets the info, and Wade does manage to do that um, while taking a couple of shots, so that's good for them. Will they give up that position? Because it looks like Hermagerd. I, I don't think they're looking for position, Elpish. I think uh, it's kind of that situation you were talking about mm. uh, a couple of games ago where they're, it's a bit of a gentleman's agreement. They're, kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're waiting game. their turn, right? They're waiting their turn um, to just have a go and... Um, and try and scan this beacon because I think once they see it, they'll realize it's uh, it's going a bit more towards, you know, could end up towards sort of survey camp um, around that that area potentially, or it could be at the east of Skyhook where Savior and the rest of his team started out. Yeah, I mean, this is a I want to say a difficult one to call. I think most teams are probably going to look towards Skyhook northern side, and maybe up in those train tunnels is the position that they can end in. We'll have to wait and see where they are uh, all decide to end up. Yeah, you do see some finishers got it, you know, outside the respawn beacon, which is outside those tunnels, not necessarily inside the tunnels. Yep. Um, but uh, but just outside there in that sort of the barren northern wastes of of uh, World's Edge, essentially. Um, but you will expect to see teams post up there, also posting up um, around the train station just north of Fragment West as well. We've already got Northside Esports and Chicken Sandwich um, over towards that kind of area. But uh, yeah, as you can see, still some teams, um, there's still a good four or five in like way down in the south of the map. Um, definitely a couple of late rotators here. Well, you're always going to get that. But for the most part, teams that have already got info on that zone and were in a position to actually rotate early have decided to do so. Northside Esport are one such team. And they've actually lost a player on the ro rotate. Depanayi has managed to pick Kill Me out of the air. And so it looks like it will just be Emil and Nuku to continue on. Not sure where Kill Me went down, but either way... It's going to be the duo for Northside Esports. Banner unrecoverable. So they do get two into the zone, but mm, it's always a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a way, way in game, right? Risk versus reward. Do we make this rotate? Do we do we go for a bit of a riskier push? Try to take a zone. Would you say this is worth it, you know, to, to get this building at the cost of losing a teammate? And I think most teams probably will take never. that trade. No. Yeah. Especially no, not this early in the game. Like, maybe later on, sure, but not this early. Completely different game every time you use, lose a player, right? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, going from three to two is uh, is almost never worth it, I would say. Um, maybe in the days of uh, of Caustic, 
the days of yore. Especially if it was a Skyhook Circle, uh, you know, a course in one of these yeah. buildings uh, is almost worth two other members. But uh, Watson doesn't really have that same effect, especially not when you do have a couple of cryptos running around the lobby and they can just destroy all of your utility uh, with, with the click of a button. I mean, at this point in the game, I don't know, is it a good thing to say that they've lost the Valkyrie as well compared to the, the Watson or the Seer? Like, would you rather have the Valkyrie to still at least give you the option to, to rotate later on or... Would they be happy to have the two legends that sort of help them lock down the buildings, play those close quarters fights a little bit better? I guess it kind of depends on where the circle shifts. If it, if it yeah, shifts it back over to um, where that beacon right. is that we were talking about, then yeah, they probably do want the Valkyrie still. Yeah, very context dependent. Would have to agree with you there. Um, you know, the Watson good for the moment this year. Um, you know, you can always put the alt down as a little bit of a deterrent. People not, don't necessarily want to be pushing into a seer ultimate. Um, but, uh, you know, you've only got that once every couple of minutes. So, mm. um, at that point, you need to use it wisely. It's going to give you a summer skyhook there. There's, uh, as you can see, most teams jammed into that northern section. Um, interestingly, Chicken Sandwich, the uh, kind of the lone holdouts there. And, you know, does this speak to the amount of kills that they have picked up so far in this lobby. I mean, what was it, 18 or something last 18. game? Like, yep. nuts result. Um, very much, that's why they are on top of the leaderboard right now. And, you know, are they going to keep up that sort of tempo, that sort of, that style of play here um, by, you know, not jumping in with the rest of the lemmings here up to the towards the top of Skyhook and trying to look for some of these teams that are still rotating, including uh, MDY. We've got, uh, you can't even see them. On, actually, you're just seeing them on the screen now is uh, S SRY who are coming up through Lava Siphon. So there's plenty of targets here for Chicken Sandwich uh, to be getting on top of. Yeah, that has really been a uh, factor of their gameplay today has been that, that they have consistently, it felt like, beaten most teams to the punch when it comes to the, the circle positioning or to the rotation. They have been on a much safer side of the zone in the late game on multiple occasions. And that has obviously paid off really, really well for them. So it's something that we can hope to see a little bit later on. They, they are prioritizing the beacon building again, so they want to get that circle info. But it's a little difficult to come by at the moment because teams are still sort of camping in the neutral and they can't scan that beacon. In the meanwhile, Obviously, Northside are now having to try to defend their building as well. <laughs> you can see both the teams floor. just trading their fences, putting them up, knocking them down again. Yep. Um, Bit of a waste of ammo, really. Especially in the position that Northside is, is in, where they have had to rotate early. They've been basically sitting in this room the whole game. I mean, that R301, I don't know how many reloadable is there, but for the Vault, only 89 reloadable. Goes down to 84 with those couple of shots. It's... Starting to get a little bit dire. There's still a lot of this game yet to play. Oh, Looks like Spicy might have DC'd. Yeah. You don't love seeing that sign. Um, just to check out. I mean, obviously, Moist haven't had the best day so far. Uh, regardless of that, I'm just trying to uh, work out where they are to see if he's in an okay position. Or well, they're not. underneath Northside, I assume. Oh, right, right, right. He's yeah, just yeah. standing there at the bottom of that building. AFK. Maybe that's part of the reason why Moist have not decided to push in. Oh, he's back in. He's back in. All right. Crisis averted. He's restarted the game. We're all good. Uh, meanwhile, Onik is uh, trying to make things less good here for Stinky B, and they're getting into a fight on the bridge. Ooh, oh, no armor on pretty much everyone when it comes to Onik. It's not a really good sign, and a rampage there as well for Elkin. I don't know, is that going to be enough to get him back into this fight? Considering Lahim is down. BC has dropped Hizzy. So at the very worst case, it is a 2v2. Rampage. Dying away from this engagement. It's reloaded as well now, Genome, as you mention it. Getting that uh, gold mag reload for free. But uh, Elkin more interested in using that flatline and obviously does have a little bit more mobility with that. He's going to be able to just get in on top of him. He can be eliminated. Well, they better loot at the speed of light because the zone is about to collapse on top of them. Remember, guys, we are in Season 15. One of the changes uh, is that the Rampage now does come fully uh, fully ramped up. You don't need to, you know, load the hot dogs in there again <laughs> and again like you're a, you know, a, a New York fast food stand. Um, it will just be pumping out that, uh, that damage at full speed as soon as you pick it up. So definitely a little bit more attractive of a care package or weapon 
now that we've moved on to Season 15 and, and sort of uh, synced things up with your live ranked experience. Oh, there's an EMP out that's going to connect on every member of Truth Esports. Now, is that just a, a poking EMP or do they want to actually take the fight? It looks like the engagement's going to come through. Vasey down already. Mosu, really nice spray with that car. He's going to give Truth the advantage and also allow for that reset. That's coming out. But Nutsuru Sama maybe didn't get the memo. Was taking that fight solo. While Saiyajin and Mosi were up on the high ground. And unfortunately, I think Truth are going to lose a member for that. I feel like Truth, Truth might lose the entire squad at this point because Moist yeah. Chicken Sandwich 505 are all looking to get involved in this. We've got four teams on this building right now. Chicken Sandwich may have overextended. They're two down as well. Um, you can see Newcastle trying to use that gold knockdown. It's going to get cancelled there. A nice right, Seer Cure coming through from Strafing Flame. Yeah, look, I'm not going to be uh, expecting any of these teams to survive too long, to be honest, because there are teams still making their rotate into this building. It's a highly prized location by the looks of things. A lot of teams recognizing that this could be where the circle ends, and if they can take control of it, then they may walk away with the top of placing. And he, oh my god. He picked back up, and I don't... I just don't understand how Chicken Sandwich have gotten all three members back up here, but they have done it. Well, they managed They managed to take out... Uh, sorry, I'm forgetting the Newcastle team there. They actually grabbed the gold knockdown from him immediately, and then they've used that to reset even quicker than they would have been able to otherwise. Um, you can see using a lot of grenades there, a lot of utility to try and keep the other teams at bay, even having that interceptor pylon block some of the sight lines in between them and that doorway, keeping them out. So Chicken Sandwich right now is showing... The kind of stuff that they are made of. Very tenacious team, aren't they? Never going to go down without a fight. And even then, that fight is not going to be an easy one for teams going up against them. Yeah, they've really carved out a bit of territory. And this is something that I've said they've been so good at over the course of the day. Is taking territory away from their opponents and playing it until the end game. And really... Putting themselves in a winning position quite early on in the game. So we're going to have to wait and obviously see where the next circle shift is going to go. But obviously it looks like it's going to go straight in center. Bang. On top of this building. And the fact that they have taken control of at least a floor of that building has set themselves up so nicely. Or, you know, another 10 minutes time. See if that pays dividends further down the road. Daywa have... Like, yeah, I mean, being in this, this train tunnel, like, they always... Uh, today just seem to have found some space to themselves they never seem to be uh you know too contested unless it's unavoidable uh, so i really like how they're placing themselves in our lobbies uh, both on storm point and on world's edge today um, going towards uh the north tunnels here where we said you know perhaps there's a chance it does go up there not gonna be the case it is swinging back towards skyhook east so gq and onik who were sitting at the respawn beacon we talked about earlier are gonna be moving their way in. Full Carmen collected right now across Skyhook. But I wonder what happens when Onyx starts to appear on frame. They'll be flying in from the northern side. We'll be able to see them in just a second. In fact, there they are. The Valkyrie trails right on the top of the map. Standing on a very contested building. Once again, we're going to run it back. It's the same building we've been Basically, watching this whole game, everyone just landing right here, trying to take the fight against one another. I'm not sure who was on the bottom floor. I it think it been might have been moist. Yeah. Yeah. And they've sort of gone halfway up the stairs, but they can't really commit to the second floor too much, can they? I don't know. Either way, this building is an absolute mess. There's at least three or four teams inside of it. Looks like the fight's going the way of moist, regardless. And on it down to just Lahim now. Have unfortunately not made the rotate they wanted to. Yeah, it was a risky, a risky option for them. Uh, no matter how you sliced it, uh, do you kind of get to catch if, uh, you know, they pulled the EMP out there or not? Um, Belkin's still on the floor. No, he, I mean, it's at 50%, so I would guess that means he didn't have time um, to ult in that last fight because that might have helped them. You saw how many, uh, you know, how many Watsons there are in that building. This, sh this shot uh, shows you that That's exactly, right? Fences, pylons everywhere. Um, they probably would want to be taking those out, but unfortunately the timing didn't work out for them. Maybe just didn't have the ult excels or whatever it was um, to make that rotation as well as they could. Oh, on the floor being picked up by Shadi. 
covering things off okay. This is a building that's slightly to the south of, I suppose, the God Building, if we want to call it that. <laughs> Are we playing Apex Legends or something else right now? Holding corners like that. Well, Pussy going to go straight through as the electric fence does go down. Really want to take this fight onto north side. Yeah, being being very conscientious in clearing corners, clearing fences, making their way into this one. Boogie Borders have actually got it to themselves for the moment. Um, it's it's not going to be where the circle is heading, as you can see. Um, this is the classic. Uh, this is like a split one year two circle where this was basically the only place that the circle would end in Skyhook between the mm. diner uh, where you can see Exo uh, currently the uh, the sole occupants of uh, between that and the train tunnel where Daywa are currently. So all of those teams, the you know the four or five teams in that building below there, they're going to be sorely disappointed. Uh, when they have to try and make their way just a little bit further, and it might just be a step too far for them. Yeah, they were united. Really situated nicely. They are the only team in the train station at the moment. DY are going to have to fight their way out of the building. And I think... <laughs> Doing pretty well. I, mean, I think there, there is no shortage of teams that they're going to have to go through as well. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. They're doing well in isolation, but this is like... Only the first small step on the, the big mountain that they do have to climb. Yeah, lots of other teams. You're going to have tough rotations as well. Elfish, I mean, you've got uh, Dugu Play and Hormagerd uh, sitting on the Skyhook itself, the big central building. Um, they're going to have uh, probably a little bit of fun as they push out together. Meanwhile, Boogie Borders are also pretty much going to be holding hands with, uh, with MDY. Um, as you can see there, I'm going to look over there. Finally, uh, Daywa have got some um, some company up there at the train station. It's been Good Riddance as well as GQ who have pulled up. Good Riddance have taken over the top of that, and it looks like Good Riddance are just sort of uh, just sort of chilling down the bottom, right on the side. Yeah, look, they can uh, both occupy the building. I'm not sure if I'd want to oh. be on the roof though once the zone does move in, but we'll talk about that in just a moment because Skyhook is starting to pop off a little bit. That zone moving in 30 seconds is going to be a real problem for, for both teams, but I'm a good. I've kind of decided to, to beat their opponents to the punch. They've already moved out and so they're kind of in a better position to just camp things here. If they're smart about to this. start the fight, but... I mean, they did already take down Ike Only Noob, so if they're smart about this, they'll try and finish this off before, um, you know, before too long. Boogie Borders have gone down to MDY, by the way. That's certainly something. And we're going to see that portal built by Jolus as well. So for Hermagerd, even if they were to take that fight and just overstay a little bit in Skyhook too long, they would have had an escape path. So they want to move early. And this is uh, exactly what I'm kind of talking about. I mean, for MDY... Getting themselves that that win over Boogie Board is this one thing, but they've got no shortage of teams to get past. As they now start to contest in toward Daywa United. But again, not really going to be particularly easy to push into that train station building. And Chicken Sandwich more than happy to play the rooftops. Well, they'll have it for just a little while longer. I mean, I think there's like the tiniest little part of that rooftop in. Really, they want the rooftop of the diner, but they can um, just wait. Yeah, you can see just how small it is, but it might be enough. If you crouch, that might be enough to actually give you cover. So 10 squads left. Do good play. Have finally been eliminated. And uh, Hermagerd um, do well to stay on top of that. But next, they will be running into Good Riddance, who have come down from the train station. They seem to have given that spot up. As you can see, Exo trying to hold out as many teams as possible here from the diner, trying to just hold onto that ground for as long as they can, because that just forces other teams to fight and makes, uh, you know, every, every team that goes out, that's another placement point for them, essentially. Um, they're doing a very good job of that so far. Good riddance will go down. SRY struggling like everyone on this east side. Yeah, this is a, a very, very messy side of the circle. David United have actually decided as well to push out of the train station and take an aggressive fight and obviously that's worked out pretty well for them SRY eliminated a little bit of cover to play with a little bit of time to loot up as well they may have been running short on supplies sitting inside that train station for so long home of good will fall in seventh place MDY still cutting through rosters you got MDY and MDY white both still in this game 
Whoa, the yeah, focus of attention game. just misses that revive, which is very important there, with the gold knockdown shield on top of it. GQ, they've done well. They've got the the uh, the high ground to themselves there. They'll be playing from on top of the train tracks. Meanwhile, Exo um, still just tra desperately trying to hold on to the second floor of the diner. It's a great place to be. And Killapose just barely makes it out with his life. Someone going down in this position right here would almost be fatal for your team. I would suspect so. MDY have pretty much been left uncontested on that side of the zone. You can see them just running around in relative uh, freedom. They were united. They are not hiding away at all, are they? They have taken this fight. They've chosen to push into this building and take these fights and try to pick the pace in this game up a little bit. And look, it, it has largely worked out for them. I may have cast a curse them a little bit though with that one. Bastion does get knocked and I'm not sure the race is going to be able to come through. That crypto in all sorts of trouble right now. Cracked, but not down. This hand's going to have to pop a bat. Doesn't have time to. Don't at the back. They just have to take the fight. But it's MDY, who, as I said, were given so much freedom. Everyone completely ignored them. Forgot about them, maybe. And they come through at the 11th hour and say, thanks very much. That's a, a freebie for us. 